Hi everyone, hope you are doing good. Welcome to the next video on my YouTube channel. Uh, this is the platform where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all. So without further delay, let's start the today's topic. And today's topic is the next uh, part of our functional consultant series. The objective of this particular series is to talk about the key responsibilities which as a functional consultant you are going to have and which is not part of your system configurations, the features and things, but apart from that, what else you are expected to do as functional consultant. So this is the next part and we have been talking about uh, the different, we have finished about the requirement gathering and things and we are talking about the design document. And in the last part of this particular series, we spoke about the integration design document and now we are going to talk about the report design document as a functional consultant, you are responsible to design this particular thing. So let's move further. Uh, this is just a recap that uh, we are talking about like once you finish your requirement gathering process, which, have, which was divine, uh, divided into these different uh, uh, sections. Uh, you can watch this series about the, uh, the specific videos which we have uh, created for uh, preparing for the requirement gathering. How do you gather the requirement, document them. And then as an output, you have, once you have documented and signed off, you have received certain requirements which are of different categories of integration, dysfunctional reports, and you have identified certain gaps and now as part of those things, like if the gap is type of report, then how you are going to design the document for that. That's what is the purpose of this particular document. Uh, th these are some key things which you need to keep in mind uh, around your design document, uh, that what is the importance of this document? What are the things which you need to keep in mind when you are uh, creating your uh, design document? So, and this is how we uh, uh, we have divided our design document into three parts, the functional report and the integration. We have already spoken about the functional and the integration. And in this video, we are going to talk about the report design document. So normally also people call it as a RGD. And as a functional consultant, you are responsible for creating this particular document. Now, if you talk about the report design document, the fundamental principles and the framework for uh, creating the design document remains same. So you are going to focus on the business process. You are going to focus on the solution design. You are going to focus on the security. You are going to focus on the reporting data integration. So any design document uh, you need to, uh, whenever you are creating, you need to consider the impact on these key areas. But what about uh, specific to report design? So you need to consider that what type of format or the reports which you are going to generate, uh, what's the reporting approach for you? Uh, what is the data mapping and the transformation required for, uh, for, for customizing that particular report? So let's understand this by one example, which I have prepared for you. And, and let's see that how this, uh, report design document uh, will look for you. Now, this is the same format which I have used for functional design document and integration design document. The only difference is that I am adding uh, some key, some, some of the uh, key uh, sections which are important for this particular document type. So now the these sections, the history, document review, document reference, abbreviation, all these things remain same. You are going to have the table of content, uh, which is also same as the previous uh, documents. And then uh, if you see this, our document is divided into uh, three key aspects. One is the introduction, then design, and then the testing uh, testing part. In the, in the introduction, I think one of the sections which we need to add is about the reporting approach and high level details. So for example, the report which we are designing uh, is it uh, is it going to be the SSRS report? Is it going to be the business document which is based on our electronic reporting framework? Or are we going to build uh, inquiry form or the Power BI? So what type of report we are going to build and what is our approach, right? So at least we need to talk about that uh, in a uh, at a high level here. 
So once that is done, also we should talk about some performance because if the report is uh, is a very uh, volume based uh, volume transaction volume based report, then is it going to impact any uh, any uh, ha is is it going to have any performance impact uh, on on our day to day transaction? So we can talk about that. Uh, when we come to the design part, which is very critical for us. Uh, so in the design part, uh, the first section where we talk about the overview of the design, I have added a couple of sections, subsections here. So first thing is if what is the expected output? What is the layout? What is the format which is uh, expected when uh, when you talk about this particular report? So you need to very clearly define that. What is the report generation process? How the report is going to be generated? Is it going to be generated in a batch? It is like something on demand, ad hoc basis, a user is going to be generated, right? Uh, if there is a scheduling and frequency of the data required for this particular report, you need to define that. What are the different filters which you need for this particular report? You can define that. What is the report navigation and what is the title of that report? So where it is going to be? Uh, developed right where you are going to put the menu item for this you need to very clearly define this part so that's very high level about this then the next thing again similar to the integration which is like report data mapping uh, it again depends on the uh, type of report which you are having but it's just an example uh, talking about uh, different things which you need to provide in your design deck uh, design document so for example, what is your report section? So consider that let's say you are creating a business document like a purchase order or the invoice uh, invoice format, which you are going to send it to your customer. So what's the report section when you are talking about any field? So is it a header, footer or, or the main body of that particular report? What is the label of the field like? What is the name of the field like? Let's say uh, invoice number or vendor details, customer name or, or date or whatever you want to print. Uh, what's the type of that? What's the length of that? It is very important to define all these things at least in the reporting requirement because uh, it impacts your look and feel of that particular uh, report as well. So then also uh, sometimes you might also want to talk about the font about of that particular report because when you are developing a business document, you need to have that what size, what type of font you should use for this particular report uh, when 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 you are developing. Then this is about like what is your field structure of what fields you require and in which section you require that. Then also you need to talk about what is the source of that particular data. Right. So if I'm saying the invoice number should be printed, so from where it should be printed. If then next section is talking about the business logic. So if I have to have, a, let's say, a total column in the report, like I want to print a total invoice amount. So what is the uh, business logic for that? Is this going to be a calculation? Is it going to be some lookup or what it is going to have? Right. So I can define a business logic. I can also define a navigation that if I have to pick up a customer name, address, or let's say the PO number, SO number reference, or invoice number, what is the navigation in D365 from where I have to pick up this particular information? And then you can have some remarks available here. Now, all these things uh, are like just a sample. Uh, uh, you, you might have some additional information which you would like to specify in this section. Or, or you might want to divide this into two or three parts like header part separately, line part separately, but you can define that. But the idea here is to call out that in a report design document is very important that you define each and every field information, how it the appearance of that field that how it is going to look, what is a type, what is a source and all these things. So it is very important for us to define this part. Apart from that, uh, you might also have some uh, interface changes uh, if you want to define that some business logic security what who can generate that particular report uh, that has to be defined here and if it is what is going to have any impact on any other area and then you are going to have some functional testing which you can define it here so these are the key things which you can, which you need to keep in mind when you are defining your uh, or you are creating your report design document the RDD. You might have 
Also, you can add the reporting format here. If someone has provided, you can link that into your uh, a reference section that uh, this is the existing format which customer is using and we want to have it uh, this way. So you can define all these details and it uh, and, and you can uh, give it to your technical team. So again, uh, just to highlight, this is just for, a exam for an example which I have provided. You might have your own format, but uh, the idea of this particular video is to explain that as a functional consultant, you are responsible for this. And then what are the key things you need to keep in mind while drafting this particular document? That's it for this video. Hope this is going to help you uh, in drafting your report design document or any design document. And we are going to come up with a new video soon. So thank you for watching this. See you in the next one.